Welcome back, friends. RPG Master 95 diving into more Late Night Diablo. Part 2 of Part 2. We've got potions. We've got, uh, you know, we can fix that up. We've got charges. We've got what was in here. Somewhere down in floor three is King Leoric, the Skeleton King. I think he's right over here. Uh, no, that's just a creepy door. Ah, why did you go in there? <laughs> why, RPG, why? Oof, don't mind that leveled up holy bolt. Not one bit. I will say, uh, highly, oh, highly looking forward to uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected and its faster gameplay. Like, this is great. This is cryptic. And, you know. Oh, there we go. Here we go. The of life has entered my tomb. Prepare yourself, mortal. You serve not enough mana. Really? Because I'm pretty sure that uh, Holy Bolt is going to be the name of the game here. Range units in Diablo. <coughs> pardon, <coughs> pardon me. Apparently, they give me a cough in Diablo. Jeepers! What? There we go. They're captains. So we should be able to traverse over here now. Oh boy. Hey, Leoric. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You gonna come over here where you don't have a bunch of archers protecting you? Oh my gosh, that's right, he can res. Oh man. Hi. Dang it. That vampiric is terrible. Is he corpse explosioning? Is he healing at like unprecedented rates? Oh my gosh. Oof. I'll find your son. That was just a like slugfest right there. Oh man. Hey, don't mind if I do. Where would I put this? Do 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh my gosh, I have <laughs> so little. We're doing okay. 
It's good. Holy crap. Yeah, I don't care if they're fire resistant. Ah, uh, da not a prima under the hay. I have no room. I have no room. Where would you put that? Oh, we're going to have to come back for sure. Hi there, friends. Welcome aboard a very dark late night Diablo stream. This is not your average Fall Guys anymore. And on that note, we're going to go to town. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. All right, typically the crown, doesn't matter what class you are at this point in the game, you're going to want it. Because it's got, well, ooh, you know what? I am thinking of uh, something else. Life hit steel is good and all, but I don't think that applies to magic. Ah, uh, minus 10 to magic cheapers. What does it take to get some good stuff around here? Resist cold, plus all attributes, hit points. Okay. I I really like my magic find, but this is just the smarter choice. And uh, let's heal. What ails you, my friend? Whoa! What can I do let's for you? Let's sell. Uh, magic items, minus vitality, which we found out was life. Regenerates mana, hip recovery, fire resist. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> magic find is nice. But sometimes certain things are nicer. Um, okay, we'll repair all. Oof. That was quite the, quite the toll. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Ah, the story of our king, is it? The tragic fall of... What ails you, my friend? The loss of his son was too... Did I not finish the quest? Ah, here we go. The curse of our king has passed, but I fear that it was only part of a greater evil at work. However... We may yet be saved from the darkness that consumes our land, for your victory is a good omen. May light guide you on your way, good master. Yeah! It's too bad I'm going to burn the whole town down to the ground. <laughs> it was just the tavern RPG, just the tavern. If you want to know more about the history of our village, the storyteller Kane knows quite a bit about the past. Oh, does he? Does he want me to stay a while and listen? Sense a soul in search of answers. Let's see here. Uh, we should definitely level up Firebolt when we get the chance. That's kind of a go-to. And then... 
Let us make room. Nice, I can shift click to move them out of the way. That's great. And stat points. Anything else, friends? No one else has a quest above their head? Let's go. Uh, you know, that's right, there is more loot. So much more loot. <laughs> oh man, some of it might help, you know? And some of it dropped before you reduced your, uh, find magic. you put it right there perfect <laughs> gnarly for a game made in 96 the detail is very much real Alrighty then. On to floor four to kill some more. I don't think anyone came here for Dr. Seuss RPG. Hello. Uh, let's see here. I cannot get there from here. <laughs> You don't say. Oh, what are you, the harvester? Consider yourself harvested. Fine. We'll do the thing. <laughs> We're gonna do the thing. They named him? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's too much. <laughs> they named the cows. I saw at one point he goes, that is a cow. So in the original Diablo, there were rumors, theories, suspicions 
that there was a cow level. I sense a soul in search of answers. Hmm. Oh man, double. I really need to add those to my arsenal. Anyways, in the original Diablo, back in the 90s, people are convinced that there was some sort of secret with this cow. I mean, why would you have a cow all the way out in the oh, field Stay a while that listen. reacted to you and your character even spoke about? Well, a uh, year and some change later, StarCraft, the first StarCraft, came out. And one of its cheat codes was there is no cow level, confirming that there was not a cow level. <sighs> Fast forward a couple years later, Diablo 2 comes out and has one of the most well, what can I do for you? just wildest fetch quests with almost nothing in the game telling you how to complete it. So, total secret. That, when completed, you got access to the cow level. So, they, it finally came full circle. Pretty great stuff. Oh, gross. Minus three to all attributes. Minus two. I didn't even see a sell price. I donated it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to have enough to get lightning. That is hyper unfortunate. Do you have any other way to make a quick buck in town? Pepin. Greetings. Can we uh, what ails you, my friend? receive healing and then uh, do you guys take plasma? <laughs> I really need some money for some lightning. I did all that was possible for the child, but I know he despises that wooden peg that I was forced to attach to his leg. His wounds were hideous. No one, and especially such a young child, should have to suffer the way he did. Poor Wirt. You know, Farnham the Drunk, was he the drunk so before? Why don't that old crone do something for a change? Sure, sure, she's got stuff. Will you listen to me? She's unnatural. I ain't never seen her eat or drink. And you can't trust somebody who doesn't drink at least a little. Ah, foreshadowing. That won't come full circle until a couple sequels. All right, let's go. I believe we came down from here and can go further down here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's my uh, insurance policy. Should I fall, I won't be on uh, the first floor. <laughs> Lightning. In its scroll form. Almost feel like the game's mocking me. Yeah, I was gonna say. Miniature butchers. Not not in the mood to go head to head with those when it can be avoided.
Oh no, and those nasty things. Oh, we, <clears throat> pardon me, have genuinely hit new territory, friends. The Black Death. I'll take a mana potion. You know what? Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. Everything. Some big boys. Some boys, -y. Gosh, it's so gross. <sighs> oh. Have a good night, friend Liquid. Hey, I, uh, fun quick story for you. So I had a work-related thing today. And, um, I, I may have even told you part of it, where essentially there's a computer that is up for grabs. It would be quite the upgrade for me. And, uh, they wanted to know why I would want this computer, why it would benefit me. And I listed several reasons, but one of which was certainly, well, my best friend moved away some years ago and is a PC exclusive gamer. And it would really ramp up the uh, options we have to uh, interact long distance if I had a nicer rig. So I'll keep you posted. I'm not a believer in giveaways, but uh, hey, you, you know, you don't know unless you try. Have a good night, buddy. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> That is a lot of arrows. That's what that is. Oh, I'm scared. Hang on, I want to gather my... I want to gather my thoughts. Oh my gosh. There is a lot going on there. Okay. What were my thoughts? Uh, my thoughts were I need potions down here. Stop. Why, why did you... Why? Why? Of all the misclicks... Of all the misclicks. <laughs> Stop. Oh, no. Okay. All right. We're going to get close. We're going to throw out one of those. I cannot cast that. We're going to dodge roll for a bit. I cannot, not enough mana. 
mana. Okay. Oof. Let's take a look at the loot. 600 bucks and some armor. I'll take it. And let's get resituated. Hi. Oh, hi. You're gold. You also disappeared, you nasty bugger. I'm getting some lucky pop shots. Okay. Doomweb the Flayer. That's right, we've got a couple rings now. Um, dexterity. Um, healing. No identify. Hmm. So I'm definitely going to need to change my setup again. Don't do a ton of PC gaming. Um, so <laughs> I don't have a spot that's quite as cozy as, uh, oh, my console gaming jeepers. Don't wreck your back hunting demons, RPG. Uh, let's see here. Black Death. Reduced maximum life. Nasty. Oh, hi. Um, one moment. I'll be right with you. Just gonna get my go-to. All right, so science, science here. Um, we have 19 to 28 damage on our firebolts. We consume a book, which levels us up one. And now we do 21 to 30. All right. I, uh, it's, it's an increase. It's not as big as I was actually thinking it was. Results, though, seem fine. Oh my, they're coming out everywhere, eh? Come one, come all! It's RPG's Firewall.
I see ya. The nasty frontal habitals. Ooh. What is this? The Great Conflict? Sounds like a good story for bedtime. Take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein. For they are the last legacy of the Haradrim. There is a war that rages on even now, beyond the fields that we know, between the utopian kingdoms of the high heavens and the chaotic pits of the burning hells. This war is known as the Great Conflict, and it has raged and burned longer than any of the stars in the sky. Neither side ever gains sway for long, as the forces of light and darkness constantly vie for control over all creation. Hoo hoo! Wonder if Diablo <laughs> fits into that at all. Well, I mean, any minute now we're due to run back into town, identify some items. I, I can't... Man. The fact that we're rocking, like, this very early gear. Pretty insane. Okay, a couple doors over there we could do. Or what is over here? Actually, you know what? I'm intrigued by this little... Oop, hang on. Is that five? Okay, that is five. Five has some weird entryway. Don't stop bleeding. Man, I'll tell you what, the number of rings I've picked up on this floor. <gasps> Book of the Circle of Eyes. <laughs> Alright, what is the circle of ice? asked my friend Rick Murphy. Okay, the circle of ice that surrounds a caster that freezes and damages enemies. Cold duration. Um slow duration. Spell effect modifiers. How long does it last? Oh, okay, it's like that. It's like Nova. Since <laughs> that's a pretty durable black death right there. 
Ooh, it is this. That's what I thought. Snot spill. Hey, you that one that kill all. You get me magic banner or we attack. You know leave with life. You kill big ugly and give back magic. Go past corner and door, find a glitch. You give, you go. Yeah. I cannot get there from here. See, so yeah, like I said, a, a different type of uh, entryway to the fifth floor. We need kill uglies. Come on. Come on, uglies. Nice. I have no room. <laughs> it's Ogden's Tavern sign. Why we're gonna give it up to some nasty creatures? I, I just, you'd think that we just go and get them. Jeepers. Holy crap. That guy about ended me. You give? Yes, good. Go now. We turn. We kill all with big magic. <laughs> oh. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Any survivors? See, and you still don't get... That's a total jip. You still don't get the tavern sign. Alright, let's see here. Tons of rings. What did we still have? Mana. Yo, Aiden! Good evening. Is that, uh... That is unidentified. Alrighty then, let's uh let's go to town. Uh, one should always start their trip to town with some Ooh, Griswold's got some stuff. Hello, my friend. Stay a while. Yeah, let's listen. identify. I count him as a true friend, perhaps the closest I have here. He is a bit addled at times, but never a more caring or considerate soul has existed. His knowledge and skills are equal by few, and his door is always open. See, and he didn't have... Man, I don't remember a lot of games back in the, in the 90s having so much good dialogue. Um... Magic items and strength, dexterity, generates two mana per second. You know, I might. But the idea of uh, possibly sharing items with characters, if that's what this is for, I'm going to stash that there. Stay for a moment. I have a story you might find interesting. A caravan that was bound for the Eastern Kingdoms passed through here some time ago. 
It was supposedly carrying a piece of the heavens that had fallen to Earth. The caravan was ambushed by cloaked riders just north of here along the roadway. I searched the wreckage for this sky rock, but it was nowhere to be found. If you should find it, I believe that I can fashion something useful from it. Let's go. Fun fact, Diablo is a game. All right, I'm rocking four armor with no bonuses. I shall take two armor with lots of bonuses. Um, resist magic and strength versus resist cold plus to attribute and plus to hit points. Hmm. See, might be worth having something like that in the future. Especially as I'm not using my staff spells anymore. What ails you, my friend? You don't want rings? Alrighty then. Good day. How may I serve Pepin saved my grandmother's life? And I know that I can never repay him for that. His ability to heal any sickness is more powerful than the mightiest sword and more mysterious than any spell you can name. If you ever are in need of healing, Pepin can help you. Pepin! What a good guy. I sense a soul in search of answers. Yeah, we seem good on potions. Will you buy my rings? There we go. Well, yes, let's go. Wow, still plenty of dollars. That's fantastic. All right, time to make our kit. F1 is our go-to fireball. F2 is our lightning. F3 is our undead. F4 is our firewall. These are our, like, most commonly used spells. Actually, well, yeah. No, we'll do that. Um, No, I'm not going to. F5 is firewall. F4 is frost shard. Uh, F6 is to weaken our enemies. F8 is still Town Portal, and... I don't feel a strong need for 7. Ah, it's to heal. Very nice. Let's go. Hey, a waypoint. Very nice. Fountain of Tears. Corona Way. Hello. Ooh, 
Oof. Oh, hello. That was a nasty looking goat man if I ever saw one. Oh, it's Garbat the Weak! Please, no hurt, no kill. Keep alive, and next time, good bring to you. Good bring to you. <laughs> I loved this guy when I was a kid. What are you talking about? You still love him. All right. Let's see here. Virus protection. Nothing yet. Almost done. Very powerful. Very strong. Live. Live. No pain. And promise I keep. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. All right. Nothing yet. Now, oh, you know what? Die in a very ah, satisfying kind of way. Where did I put my, uh... That's a problem. I don't know where I put my firewall. Hmm. F5. F6 is to weaken. Right? F5 is to firewall. Alright. Oh, interesting. I've got, like... I see what I did there. Didn't necessarily mean to. Ooh, Book of Inferno. Hey, owie! Did you not get the memo? Something for you. I am making. Again, not kill Garbod. Live and give good. You take this as proof I keep word. Thanks, buddy. Something for you, I am making. Again, not kill Garbot. Something for you. All right. We'll come back, Garbot. The smell of death surrounds me. Oh, yes! A, uh... Quality host and streamer. When seeing someone jump into a new thing, oh my goodness. You know what? Firewall. That's what you're looking at. You're looking at is firewall. This is Diablo. The original 1996-7 dungeon crawling classic. I'm playing a director's cut, as it were. Something thrown together by uh, fans. They discovered, years ago, several audio files, several spells, several... There was even one or two cutscenes that shipped on the disc back in the 90s. Um, but weren't part of the complete game. People speculate they ran out of time. They made, you know, executive decisions. This took the original game with its original graphics. This this is all, like, right here. This is all completely 100% original. Except I can find a few spells I couldn't back in the day. Every once in a while I'll run into a quest... Or some extra information from an NPC that I could not find back in the day. And best of all, it's got some modern conveniences on the controls. 
as far as how I can hotkey stuff. See all the fallen loot on the ground. Things that uh, came much later than the original. And it plays and looks quite nice on a uh, modern screen. Diablo 1 at its finest is literally what we're looking at. Back to you, RPG. I cannot carry anymore. I cannot carry anymore. Let's see here. As I find magic books, I gain levels in my spell book. Frost Shard, for example, is now level 5. Leveling up only increases my uh, attributes. It gives me no extra talent and does not make my uh, spells necessarily significantly better. Oh my goodness, I have a firewall for that. The plot. Old man goes into cave and kills Satan. Um, <laughs> so, the town above us is Tristram. It, uh, it was just another part of a kingdom at one point. You'd maybe think of it as like a trading town. Um, nothing huge, but it does have a tavern, a great cleric, a great blacksmith, all the, all the necessities. Well, the king of the land, Leoric, the Archbishop Lazarus, and many others befell a, an influence quite evil. And all these demons and dark rituals have been brewing underneath the town. And these catacombs hidden uh, connected to the town's cathedral or church. So I am going floor by floor. Closer and closer to the actual floors of hell. In order to eradicate this evil, find out its source... See if there's anyone that can still be saved that's down below. Ooh, what is that? The Book of Blood. Oh gosh, not them, not them, not them, not them. Light them on fire. Light them on fire. Please, if you do anything, do not look them in the eye. That didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Owie! 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 Alright, where are we? The Book of Blood. Yeah, and I have different abilities. Fire, lightning, ice, undead, holy water, destroying this. All suited for different enemies. And so... Locked beyond the gateway of blood and past the hall of fire. Valor awaits for the <gasps> of light to Dude, win. I need Valor. Let's go. I need blood. Need blood, then Valor. Honestly, I'm not sure I'm not getting murdered. 
Um, I've got terrible armor for this far in the game. I haven't been investing in defense either. I feel the game has taken a sense of sympathy on me. You need blood. Are you a vampire? No! I, uh, I'm a wizard that was told if I provide blood, I can get something fancy. is a passageway. Uh, I don't think that's where I want to head yet. I really want to solve this blood puzzle. Really? That is a tough cookie. what you did. I woke up a skeleton. There we go. Ooh, hello. It's like, man, those are a lot of gold-shaped body pieces. Blood, blood, blood. I need you. Oh, hey. Why not? We've unlocked down to the catacombs. Yeah, so in this game, originally there were no waypoints. Um, every so many floors, you'd unlock a new way back to town. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Deckard Kane identifies my items. So I can look at them and go, oh, hey. Uh-huh. Yeah. And see that I don't need any of that. Well, what can I do for you? Oof. That was a repair bill. hero a moment of your time please while attending one of the townsfolk who had taken quite ill i noticed something odd about his home there were strange sounds and a sickly sweet smell rising from the cellar thinking perhaps these fumes had something to do with his sickness i investigated in his cellar were monstrous worms shifting and squirming up from the underground i beg of you Slay these creatures before they can make their way into the town. I left the door to his house open for you. It is the one opposite of mine. Whoa! That is not in the original, but 100% the original voice acting. Holy crap. 
to the infested cellar. Oop. One moment. Hopefully that didn't kill the stream. Stop it, RPG. Keep your clicking within the game. You, my friend. Perfect. Oh, man. How deep does it go? Oh, what is this? The infested cellar. Completely uncharted territory, folks. What? Hey! Like hidden walls. Oh, these are nasty. I have no doubt, Coronaway, that D&D definitely inspired some of the uh, storytelling and world building of this game. <laughs> uh, I bet it's in my head. Or maybe a spider, but I swear I just felt something crawling over my foot. Appreciated, my bros. I think they leave acid on the ground that hurts. These things have tunneled all sorts of nasties. Not the biggest enemy variety down here, but still super cool. Ten-year-old me is quite thrilled to be seeing more things in an adventure that I thought I had seen at all.
So speaking of spooky sounds and D&D, Chrono, um, more than once when playing D&D, be it DMing or adventuring, I have pulled up on my phone the original soundtrack for Diablo. Ah, uh, Matt, I can't remember your last name, but anyways, a gentleman by the name of Matt something or another uh, composed the soundtrack for Diablo 1 and 2. And I find their atmosphere very, like, ghastly, good, dungeon-crawling fun. Oh, is that it? I don't see any sort of indicator on this quest that didn't make it to the original. Let's uh let's go up to town. According to my little map, I've I've been everywhere and we've certainly slayed everything. What ails you, my friend? I fear that the worms could soon overrun the village. I know that they are coming up from under the house that is opposite mine. Just the thought of those slimy beasts oozing into my house makes me want to be ill. Please, rid us of them. Okay. What am I missing? Wouldn't it be great if the quest is broken? <laughs> Hmm. Oh. I had a feeling. So I'm going to have to really explore. <laughs> oh, wowie. Don't you have any good Dungeons and Dragons stories, RPG? Well, since blood, vampires, D&D, spooky have all come up tonight, try this one on for size. Once upon a time, there was an assassin. More of a hitman, actually. And he was recruited as part of a Dungeons and Dragons group to exterminate some vampires. Bit of a backstory in our hitman friend. He took life because he was convinced. No one knows if it's true or not. I, I, I would lean towards it's not true. This, this uh, individual is a bit delusional. He was convinced. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. You know what? Drink all the mana. Kill everything. No? What is it that you hate? Is it ice? He doesn't like ice. Ouch, I don't like him. He really hurts. And he's healing the longer I'm not engaged in combat. Owie. The town is safe from these foul spawn. 
Awesome. All right. And we get to save Hitman for another day. Oh, man. I don't have enough. I don't think I have enough mana to, if there's any left, take care of them. Oh, goody. So this Hitman was insane. He was convinced that when he took another person's life, their remaining ears were added to his own. And so when he was offered his, you know, a, a job helping take out immortal beings, he was convinced that if he could kill a vampire, he would be immortal himself. Well, the quest went on. It was quite good times. The character leveled and got proficient at stealthy, stealthy things. We're talking the ability to hide in the shadows, deal critical damage to things that can't see him. And they eventually had a tremendous battle with these vampires. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. The problem, though, is after the battle was done, he didn't feel different at all. His name was Vincent, by the way. He didn't feel different at all. And so... He uh, kind of ran his blade over his hand. Saw that he bled. And then he had this crazy idea. It was the craziest of all. And I'd talked to the, D the DM before this. I'd recommend never doing this in any type of tabletop. But this was a limited instance these characters uh there were no further plans for them my character stepped into the shadows and picked off the party one by one convinced that because he shared the glory of the assassination of these immortal beings that he might be sharing this immortality with his party. So he killed the whole party and then uh, walked off into the moonlight. Never to be seen again. Good stuff. Once again, you have saved this humble town from the encroaching evil. We are, as always, forever in your debt. Aw, Pepin. I'm just happy to get a be with you one more time, my buddy. Try some new stuff. Alright. Um... Back into the dungeon, eh? Ugh. <sighs> Oh, that's right. Blood. More blood. Coronaway chiming in. That's dark. Oh! <laughs> so this is why um, in the original Diablo they spread out the quests. You wouldn't get every quest every this time. Must be what Griswold wanted. Because now I just feel like I'm just getting quest after quest after quest. And it's pretty great. Makes it more of like a fully fleshed out RPG. Feel like you accomplish more in a single playthrough. And I mean you do, so it's not I feel like. It's you do. You accomplish more. Ah, oh, that's down to level 6. We're not ready for that. So we've got Gwiz Gwiz Gwizwalds. We got Gwizwalds. We got Griswold's Rock. We're looking for blood. Mm. Clear the floor, RPG. You know what? When overwhelmed, I cannot cast that. Just overwhelm your opponents. Set up a barbecue. Come one, come all. Ah, 
Foul wing. Oh, my headset is letting me know it's past your bedtime, RPG. Used me all day for work, and now play, and I'm ready to go to bed. Just a little longer, my friend. There's quite a bit of unexplored area. Oh my gosh, what happened there? Massacre! Interesting. Well, RPG, you're running out of areas to explore. You know, let's talk to Garbad real, 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 real quick. Let's see if he's got our... our surprise. I feel like you just need to give him some time. And some time we have. Let's see. Garpad. Hi, friend. This too good for you. Very powerful. You want, you take. Garbad! <laughs> I am not impressed. <laughs> uh, Garbad the Week. Please, no hurt. And next time, good come to you. You know, I've got a pretty good belt. And I don't have a identification scroll. Okay, I need to go down all the way. There. Fool me twice, ye shall. Make me think there's more to see. Are we sure there's not just blood in here? 
And so, locked beyond the gateway of blood and past the Hall of Fire, valor awaits for the Hero of Light to awaken. Get ready for some... right? Oh yeah, Valor's, Valor's better than that. The Pedestal of Blood. Hmm. Red Wizard needs blood badly. Jeepers RPG. Ah, uh, hang on a sec. Come on. <laughs> Come on, the water's fine. Whoa, what was that? Immune to magic. Huh. That was awkward. He, like, exploded. Your head explode. says I disagree Still not enough blood. Seventy three. Okay. And that is why we save skill points, stat points, attribute points. To distribute points. Points to distribute. <laughs> All right. Well, friends. I don't know if we're going to find 
the entrance to Valor tonight. This is a dark and late hour. And if we don't get some rest, we ourselves may succumb to the evils. Yeah, so we're going to get, uh, well, actually, if this is the one that takes us right back to town, we're going to wrap things up with good old Griswold. I've got Corona away. No. Oh, identify items. And Griswold, tell me about this rock. Wait, how long has the audio been quiet for y'all? Is that... He didn't feel different than quiet for y'all. Oh my goodness, when my headset died... That is unreal. Oh my goodness, when my headset died. Well, that's janky. Well, let me tell you what Grizzled said. He said, aye, that'd be a, a fine piece of rock. Take this ring and take it over to the wizard. And Deckard Kane says, um, what does it say? Plus two to all attributes, 20% faster hit recovery, absorbs half of trap damage, and more light radius, which certainly beats out, um, I'm thinking this guy, resist magic, is really all that that's doing for me. All right, friends, I've broken the audio. I've stayed up past my bedtime. And uh, I am committed to picking this thing up sometime tomorrow. Replays will always be a thing if you miss any of it. If you want to see where this incredibly dark adventure goes. And boy, it just gets even darker. Corona Way, thanks for being my late night companion. Anyone else out there, thank you as well. And I'll see you all next time. Stay safe.